Hey everyone, this is Pastor Nat from Back to the Bible and you are joining us on Win the Day. Today we are going to talk about how to put faith in real life. Faith in real life. That was our goal for studying the letter of James for the past two months. We wanted to remove the obstacles and ambiguity in living out our Christian faith. It's been challenging and wonderful. I have learned a lot and I feel like I've grown a lot. I hope you have too. Today, as we wrap up our series, I want us to just look briefly at two passages that I think summarize the thrust of this book. This is what James writes in James chapter 1, beginning in verse 19. My dear brothers and sisters, understand this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. For human anger does not accomplish God's righteousness. Therefore, ridding yourself of all moral filth and evil that is so prevalent, humbly receive the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. This is what James says in continuation in James chapter 2, beginning in verse 14. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but does not have works? Can such faith save him? If a brother or sister is without clothes and lacks daily food, and one of you says to them, uh, Go in peace, stay warm, and be well fed. But you don't give them what the body needs. What good is it? In the same way, faith, if it does not have works, is dead by itself. Bible teachers and preachers have summarized the book of James as saving faith works. In other words, there are different kinds of faith. The simplest categories are saving and non-saving faith. The way to discern the difference is one makes a difference today and in eternity. Now, today God doesn't want you to worry about if you're in or out. God's grace is sufficient. Uh, Jesus said this in John 10 verse 28, I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. So how can someone experience this kind of assurance? Paul says in Ephesians chapter 2, beginning in verse 8, he says, For you are saved by grace through faith. This is not from yourselves. It is God's gift, not from works, so that no one can boast. For we are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. You see, friend, there it is. You are saved and secured by grace alone through faith alone. That kind of saving faith works. So here's my challenge for you today. I want you to be a doer of the word. I want you to go and put faith in real life. Is it easy? No. Is it natural? <laughs> Hardly. It is a process made possible by God's power in our dependence upon Him. Pride is a snare that leads to all sorts of destruction. A better way is to follow Christianity 101 through the power of the Spirit. When we mess up, which we will, we simply need to confess and ask God for help. It is God who provides comfort and wisdom generously. That is faith that works. When we embrace the gospel and allow it to transform us each and every day, we will win the day.